Jaden, good feeling amongst the squad ahead of this one? Yeah, yeah, really positive. Everyone's just up for it, just fighting for their places for Wednesday. Just trying to help everyone else, help everyone, help everyone to get, um, get into the other thing that we need for Wednesday. Antonio, you were part of the, the squad last season. We didn't manage to get around to doing an interview with you. So just introduce yourself to, to the to the Dons fans now, because we picked you up from Tottenham eventually, didn't we? Yeah, um, I was at Tottenham for about five years, I'll say. Um, got released when I was under 13s, under 14s. And then um, got in contact with Wimbledon and then got a, got a trial. Um, I think I got signed at the end of under 15s. So yeah, had a season. And then thankfully got my scholar. Just trying to work on from that. How have you found it working under Mark Robinson and James Oswald Pierce? Um, yeah, it's good. To, um, Robinson likes to get the ball on the floor and keep it moving. So yeah, I like the football. It's good. We spoke to a couple of lads in the build-up for the North Greenford game. Um, Toby Civic and, and Tom Scott. And they were very complimentary about everybody within the squad. So I suppose we've got to turn the tables on them now. And, and just sort of talk about how, what Toby brings to the team, Jane. Yeah, no, he's good. He When he comes, he's probably more ball-playing sort of defender, gets the ball, picks it up, moves it into the midfield, sometimes drives him forward with himself and just picks out passes, kind of kind of the one then where he just gets the ball and moves it properly and yeah, he finds good passes and that. So when he gets the ball, I know what runs to do, he knows what runs to pick and all that stuff, so yeah, it's just good playing with him. And Sonia, you're one of the more lively ones in the dressing room, you get the, the squad spirit going. Um, Tom Scott as well, he's come into that group, he's, he's a very good player, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, very good, um, obviously coming from Reading, knows what to do. Um, even when, when you're in front of him, you know that there's no worries at the back. He's just so strong, going to win everything in the air. Um, he likes to get forward as well, which is always a good thing. Jaden, I suppose, another one we've got to talk about as well. We left him out last time. He's a, another good character and a great name as well. Great ever to tell us about him. Yeah, yeah no, great. He's a good good, good character to have around the camp. Really positive, always up for bands. Just, yeah, this really positive guy and he's always trying his best to understand things. So obviously he finds certain things a bit hard because he's a more so he's a different type of striker to more of the strikers that we have here so he's finding it hard sometimes to do certain things but he's really working hard getting on and doing other things and trying to practice on things that he's bad at and he's coming on well. Antonio had a big win of course under the lights of the Cherry Gregman Stadium last time round over North Greenford. Um, the gaffer I think kind of senses there's room for improvement. What, what do you yeah, think about um, that? I think just getting on the ball I find it difficult. Um, just finding the pockets and keeping it moving. But um, second half, I think we thought we'd done better. We dug in, just got the ball moving, and that showed considering the scoreline. So hopefully you can turn it into Wednesday's game. And this time round, of course, Bristol Rovers, we've been working on a new formation um, early days, and it but going well. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out what formation to play. Obviously, I think we can, we can do a few formations, but whatever one's best, I think we can do well in that. Jaden, it's going to be tough, isn't it? Bristol Rovers, they're, they're a good side. Robbo's been to see them. What's, yeah. What have you been working upon? Um, just loads of different shapes, different ways to play out from the back, and just different ways to press, you know, just different scenarios, because you never know how a match can turn out. Just trying to prepare for a sit, like every situation <laughs> so that we're ready for whatever happens.